Today I'm sharing 10 winter essentials that I truly believe everyone needs to own. Not only will these pieces help you step out in style this season, but they will be pieces that you will own and love for many years to come. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome to my channel. Now I am very excited today because I'm in the US. I'm here for six weeks. I'm looking forward to spending a hopefully white Christmas with my son who goes to high school here. So it's very exciting for me to be here. In fact, I was going to film outside, but it is super chilly today. So I'm inside in my Airbnb all snuggled up. I bought this little Fair Isle sweater yesterday from Walmart. I'll link it below if you like it. I absolutely love it. It's got some beautiful details. I love the cuffs, these extra long cuffs. It's super soft, it's not scratchy, and it's my little nod to Christmas. Anyway, I've got some amazing buys that I have been online scoping out. So these are some pieces that I suppose you could say are trend focused right now, but they are going to be items that, as I said earlier, you can love and wear for a long time to come. And if you've been following me here for a while, you'll know that that is really important to me. So instead of me rabbiting on, but you probably can see, I'm just excited to be here in the States. But I won't keep rabbiting on, let's get on with some of these fab winter fashion buys. Now I'm sure I'll get some pushback with this one because I know that this isn't everyone's favorite fashion item or trend, whatever you wanna call it, but leather is very much having a moment. And in my mind, leather is very much a, a fashion essential. Now, if you're not a fan of leather, there are plenty of leather look or pleather options out there as well. But I'm focusing a little bit more on the leather pieces today because I have just seen so many of them lately. There are some gorgeous long line leather coats. There are so many other options on offer at the moment as well from trench style leather options to beautiful wrap kind of midi length coats. There actually, I even just thinking about it now, have seen a beautiful leather slip dress at Zara as well. Now, I know slip dresses aren't for everyone, but if this is your style, then a leather stri strip dress, slip dress is going to really be a good option for you. Certainly, I'm a fan of slip dresses, so I'm taking a very close look at this. But there are just some great leather options out there. And if you're looking to invest and you're looking for pieces that are timeless and that you can pull out season after season, year after year, and enjoy wearing, then definitely take a look at some of these leather options. There are also some great leather cargo style pants, some almost jogger style pants in a kind of a mid rise, which is always a safe option. I do say when you're buying leather pieces to keep it really simple though. You don't want something that's really gonna easily date or look like it's attached to a particular decade. So think about keeping those pieces simple and I suppose that's why the leather options are the top of my list today because there are some great classic pieces on offer. Now next up are long coats. It's not surprising, these pieces are very much a winter essential, but there seems to be an extension of what we were wearing in spring summer of slightly oversized boyfriend style blazers. Well, this kind of silhouette has very much come to the fore for winter in the way of long coats. So the long coats are slightly oversized. They're very kind of androgynous or man style. In fact, I'm kicking myself. I saw and found a beautiful 100% wool, midi style oversized man's coat at Goodwill the other night. And I left it. I didn't actually buy it. I think my main concern was that I wasn't going to be able to carry it in my suitcase home because it was quite heavy but I really am kicking myself. It was a perfect piece and it's a piece I could have worn for years. So in my mind, there are lots of these beautiful longer line and midi style, slightly oversized coats, which are going to be pieces that you'll reach for for many years to come. If you are worried about the longevity of them and how they will date and look in a couple of seasons time, then opt for a, a style that's not quite so oversized. 
But again, if you do go for something that's oversized, you can always belt it to give it a little bit of a sleeker silhouette, to bring it in at the waist, to give it a little bit more shape. So you've got some options there. But definitely there are some beautiful options in these long line coats. And they're in wool. There are also some beautiful knit long line coats. There are leather, as I said earlier, even some denim options as well, but you cannot go past a beautiful long coat. Regardless of what you're wearing underneath, you're going to look stylish and you're going to be warm. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, I am a huge fan of Squarespace and have built and worked with clients over the years creating Squarespace blogs and websites for their businesses. And the reason I've always chosen Squarespace is because it's an incredibly easy platform to navigate. And I don't have a whole lot of tech smarts as you guys already know. And Squarespace makes life so simple. So if this year you would like to launch yourself online or start any sort of website or if you have products to sell then Squarespace is the easiest way to do exactly that. You can sell from Squarespace, you can send emails, you can track your customers, whatever you need to do online Squarespace makes it very easy. Now I'm really excited today to say that Squarespace is offering you a 10% discount off your first website or domain. All you need to do is whip on over to squarespace.com Take advantage of their free trial, get familiar with how Squarespace works. They have some amazing templates there, so you can check that out. And then when you're ready to launch yourself, what I do suggest you do is use my unique URL, which I'll put up on the screen here, and that is simply squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code, which is also the style insider. And that will save you 10% off your first website or domain with Squarespace. So as I said, if you are looking to launch yourself online and make 2024 your year to shine, then definitely take advantage of this great offer. Now, since I've been in the States, which is only a week, I've seen so many fur booties and in particular, the good old little tiny cutoff Uggs, which seem to be super popular this winter. And for a really good reason. I mean, obviously you get that comfort factor with them and your feet are going to be warm. And there's nothing better in my mind than in winter, making sure that you've got that comfort factor, but you also need warm feet. Well, at least I do. I can't be happy unless my feet are warm. So the great thing about these Uggs is that they have a little platform as well. So that gives you a bit more distance from the pavement, which is going to give you that extra warmth as well. And you can wear them with or without socks, which gives you a bit of versatility there. But not only have I seen a lot of these Uggs, I've seen lots of kind of modern interpretations of your classic little fur and fur lined booties. So I'm gonna flick up a few uh, images here of what I have seen and what has been about. But they're a great option, as you all already know. And again, they are, a type of shoe that you're just gonna bring out season after season, especially if they're comfy and you love them. And of course, we did see these little cutoff Uggs last winter and they don't appear to be going anywhere. So again, if you're gonna make that investment in a fur lined or fur style booty, then you do want to know that you're gonna be able to wear it for years to come. And certainly with these Uggs, that is what is happening. But if these aren't your style, there are plenty of other lace-up options as well. And as I said, I'll flick up a few images here so you can see them. And everything, as always, will be linked in the description box below. Now, this one is probably my favorite trend this season. And it is coats and sweaters with a either built-in scarf or a faux sweater tie detail. So it kind of looks like you've done the layering but you haven't done anything. So coats with these built-in scarves are obviously not only a good look, the styling, the color, everything has been done for you, but you also get that snuggly, easy wear. And same thing with sweaters. Sweaters, I talked in a few videos ago, it was probably two or three videos ago about how a lot of the designers sent models down the runway with sweaters kind of worn as scarves. So now what's happening, we are seeing these kind of sweater sleeves built into an actual sweater. So it's not two sweaters in one, it's just the sort of sleeve detail. So it gives you that effect. 
I like it, I think it's really fun and also it's just layering without having to do any of the hard work. So I have included these today because I just think that they're cool and they are going to be pieces that you will be able to wear and enjoy for a long time. Now you'll either love this one or you won't but there are so many statement cardigans around this season and when I say statement I mean really colourful cardies, there are also cardies that are chunky kind of cable knit style cardies, there are wrap cardies, there kind of is something for everyone and in my mind a good cardi is a great layering piece. There are some amazing colours to choose from, patterns and if you just wear a very simple outfit underneath, pop on a statement cardi, you've got that comfort snuggly factor but you've also got a little bit of a fashion edge going on there as well. So take a look at some of these statement cardies and if you love the piece then you are going to love it and enjoy it for years to come. And that leads in really nicely to the next trend and that is for what I'm calling pretty puffers. And I've been a huge fan of puffers for many years but for a long time I just wore a very standard black puffer. It was pretty boring and definitely wasn't making any kind of style statement but I have noticed over the last few years puffers have been picking up momentum and they've also been showcased in so many different colours. This particular season I'm seeing different shapes as well. I picked up a, a great puffer, I'll show it on the screen here. Last year from Revolve, it's got a nipped in waist. I absolutely love it. But this season I have seen some really gorgeous options in the way of color. There's some beautiful metallics, even some cropped puffers, this pretty, pretty pink cropped puffer. Uh, there's also, actually that reminds me, there are also some lovely different quilted jacket options. So they kind of there's somewhere in between a puffer and a quilted jacket but there are some really lovely options and I couldn't not include them in today's episode because these particular jackets and puffers are not going anywhere at all. Now next up and this one is a goodie and it is sporty sets. Now I've talked a lot in recent videos about matching sets and we've seen a lot of them especially in spring summer but in winter this year there seem to be some beautiful sporty sets which I'm a big fan of. I've worn sweatpants and sweatshirts for a very long time. There is nothing better in my mind than snuggling up and keeping warm in winter in a sweatsuit set. That is a tongue twister. I've seen one that I particularly love and it's from memory a bomber with some joggers, a great set to have and as I always say sets are brilliant because you've got that versatility of wearing them together or you can wear them separately as well but there definitely seems to be a trend for jogger style pants like your classic kind of sweatpants sets so whether they're with a sweatshirt or a bomber style jacket these what I'm calling sporty sets are perfect. They are going to be versatile pieces, they are going to keep you warm, they're going to give you comfort and just give you some really sporty cool outfit options. Now I've just had to put my glasses on because I can't see. I've got my notes right here and I'm struggling to read them so please bear with me. But next up I'm calling this one sheer sweaters. Now I've seen lots and lots of them, in fact I wore one in a recent video and got lots and lots of comments which was really nice but these sheer type sweaters or long sleeve tees, whatever you want to call them, they're kind of a woven fabric so they're not a, a sheer in the sense of a tulle type fabric but you get a little bit of texture, you can see, slightly see what you're wearing underneath whether it's a camisole, a tank or a crop top so it gives your outfit a little bit of interest, it still gives you the coverage and of course you're going to throw on a long coat and a scarf or your woolly kind of outerwear to keep warm but it just gives you a layering piece that's going to create an outfit that is a little bit more interesting and as I said it just gives you that texture as well and certainly if you like me are into monochrome dressing that texture is just going to create a little bit of interest in your outfit. So take a look at some of these sheer style tops and don't worry, it doesn't often matter what you're wearing underneath, you can just layer something simple or something that's even a little more casual underneath because you're only going to see a hint of it anyway and that always works. So 
don't rule them out. Don't think that they're going to be too hard to style in winter because you are going to rug up. But think about the texture and how they're going to add something a little interesting to your everyday outfits. Now I've talked quite a bit about metallics being a happening trend and in particular gold. And I'm actually surprised to see quite a lot of gold pieces popping up this winter. And there are some beautiful gold knits. I actually saw a gold sweater, a gold dress, some gold pants. And the great thing about gold is you just treat it like any other neutral and it can be teamed back with black. So a gold top with some black pants doesn't take any effort or much thought to style, but it's always going to look really elevated and sophisticated. And these gold pieces are pieces, as I said, they're a neutral, so you're going to be able to pull them out and wear them and enjoy them for years to come. Obviously, they are a warm tone, so if that's something that suits you, then definitely take a look at some of these gold pieces. They are timeless, they are a neutral, so if they work for you, now's a good time to grab something. And last but not least are cargo pants. And in fact, we've seen cargo pants trending and having a moment for quite a few seasons now. And I was probably a little surprised to see how popular they are this winter, but it kind of makes sense. They're comfortable, they've got that sort of cool street style girl kind of vibe going on. They're a little sporty, but they're also a little bit more elevated than a straight sweatpant. So it's probably not a surprise that they're very much enjoying a, a little more time in the spotlight. And the reason I added them to my list here is because cargo pants are always going to be a style of pant that you can bring out and wear regardless of what's on trend and what's happening in fashion. I own some cargo pants that I have loved and worn for years. Even though the pants this season or cargo pants this season tend to be a slightly wider leg, the cargos that I love and have worn for years have more of a tapered in, they sort of taper in at the ankle, but it doesn't matter. A cargo pant is going to see you through. I've even seen some sweatpants in a cargo style. So if you're a cargo pant fan, now is a great time to bring out your own cargo pants from the back of the wardrobe or stock up on something new, but there really is something for everyone. Some great denim options as well, and they are never ever gonna go out of style. So cargo pants are, oh, they're such a winter essential. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you in the next one. I'm here in the US. Did I say I'm excited to be here?